All right, welcome back to another league race. This time we're with the Masters Championship for round number 17. Uh, 16. Beautiful. Uh, I think it's 17. Gorgeous. Uh, of the um, yeah, TMC League One. Uh, sunny weather, so that was a huge relief to me. I was actually really nervous that it might be a wet race, and uh, that would not have been. That would not have been fun. But anyways, coming up to the end of our banker, uh, had a pretty poor start. It was okay, like 33-6 is fine. Um, but I knew it could go a lot quicker. You can see it by the delta there. Um, I really got the last corner messed up on my opening lap. So I got that one right there. And we're going to take it for a lap of my fastest lap around the circuit of the Americas and where I kind of... Uh, let's take on a lap. So, uh, into third for the first turn. Don't run, don't you don't want to really clip that curb on the outside if you can. Don't run out onto it. And for the S's, look, they're very difficult. But if you've got the car underneath you, the curbing is really important. It's really important to take that curb, half those curbs. Down to fifth, coming through, and then down to fourth. Make sure you clip that curb. I'm going to take a bit more. This is the part of the track I hate the most. But try, I try to upshift early and just try and push it if I can. You can be a bit more strict with it in the race. And down the hill, uh, again, into third. You want to kind of clip it late, kind of, the apex. Because you, if you go in too acutely, you can compromise your bit of your straight line speed there. So, uh, long back straight, DRS, keep her lit, and then going down into third, uh, head with your head into the final sector. Could clip that curb if you want. Uh, I do I go up to fifth? I do go up to fifth very briefly, then back to third. Uh, I try to go full throttle this time on instead of going up early or in fourth. Uh, so. Uh, easy can around that left try not to take go out too wide or go too narrow and then I like to stick as tight as I can really to this this section here triple right hander turn 18 I you, re, you could clip more than what I did there and then the same for turn sorry that's turn 20 excuse me DRS and uh, I missed out on provisional pole oh, by two hundredths oh. of a second eventually fell down to <laughs> third so oh. Good lap, not too bad, I have to say. Not D3. too bad at so, all. And uh, starting from a good position. I was nervous because <laughs> when you start so far up, there is a. Uh, you gotta go out and actually do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to you qualify and you're in a good position. And now you're expected to, to do it. Like, if I don't do that, I'm yeah, disappointed to me. So, the, the lofty really pressures pretty. of oneself. But before we get into the race, a quick look at the standings. Uh, last week, Suzuka didn't go according to plan, but look, I'm 20 points behind the promotion spot, so which I never thought I'd be in, so uh, I'm right there. So if something goes well this for me this race, finish on the podium, could pick up some good points, maybe stay fourth, pick up some good points. Then the constructors, the Haas, they're in fifth, but it's all quite tight between Ferrari and Renault as well. In terms of strategy... I do not want to be doing the two-stop. I want to be doing the one. Going to the softs, maybe lap nine or ten. Uh, I didn't mind either. I was going to try for ten if I could. And then stick a bit of fuel in. So here we go. Four. Five lights. And away we go. I get a really good start. You can see Case Styley, A bit of wheel spin. I've got a pretty good leap on him. Comey goes defensive early. Very, very narrow line to take into turn one. Leave a space on the outside, and we've got we've jumped into P2 ahead of K Styley straight away. So that's a really good start, and then just kind of sitting behind Combi, taking a very easy through these S's. Uh, a big thing for me heading into this race was don't get penalties. Try not to limit your penalties. Sorry, try to limit your penalties. Play the long game. Uh, my my actual thinking like was like I don't mind if I lose a tenth or two in the in the uh, the S's or whatever. But play the long game because look over one over a whole course of a race, a tenth or a two, you know that's not quite the same as say three or six seconds worth of penalty. So uh, I'd stressed a, a big emphasis on that and having a stable car to go through those S's, so I wouldn't pick up a penalty or many warnings. So that was the hope, but uh, obviously saying it is one thing, executing it is another. So we got we kind of held position after we got up into P2, just sitting behind Combi. Lap three, this was a kind of a situation early on. He broke out of DRS and I had a little bit of a buffer behind me. Potty had got himself up into P3. And uh, I felt fairly safe for now. The gap, you can see, is probably 1.6-ish seconds. And Kobe's not driving away from me at the front. So 
I was in a good spot. We're increasing our gap at the front to those behind. And uh, yeah, just uh, I was quite happy at this early stage of the race. Uh, you can see I'm running two two wings at the front. Uh, two eleven was what I was running with eleven ballast. Yeah, but moving on to lap five now. Excuse me, uh, lap five. We've kind of carved to Combi a bit. We were just in DRS range, and now we're kind of on the back. I'm kind of aware uh, as I'm closing up to him that Pardy's also closing up to me. So if I'm stuck behind Combi, I can't really. Uh, I'm Pardy's going to catch up a bit. So lap seven, we're getting close to the end of the, uh, the first stint. It's only a few laps away now. You can see the gap to Pardy is just a second. I am as close as I've ever been to Combi by the start of the race. So. Get a really good run out of the uphill section there. Heading back down the hill. I'm going to have DRS. I have a, just looking at the line. Get a good exit out of this. I think it's turn 11. And uh, we'll have DRS. I put plenty of fuel in. So I can put in Rich. And uh, open the DRS. And I was quite far back. But I reeled in quickly. Combi goes defensive. So I have to try and drive around the outside. I'm not going to stick up the inside in this stage of the race. That's too, it's too early. And uh, I have a sniff. But... Uh, nothing really doing there against Combi on that occasion. So, but this was encouraging to me that I was catching up and you know kind of really sh showing that I'm there, like I I'm right there for this race. So uh, I wasn't really thinking about the win, but I was just kind of just staying in the moment and just focusing on trying to get to Combi and then looking. You see, like Paddy's right behind us now, so I'm trying to focus on that. So Combi and me are going to stay out, but Paddy is going to pitch. Paddy's going to try the undercut. And so this is basically Japan all over again with Loki. He's like, right, I've got to pit this lap. I adjust my actual front wing to one. So you'll see how crucial that comes to be a bit later. But lap eight, or sorry, lap nine, uh, the in lap now, uh, Combi's still ahead there. But he's going to have a big moment uh, out of this long left hander. Uh, real snap over here. He did well to catch it, to be fair. And I'm kind of about to lift off the throttle a little bit so I don't run into the back of him. And this gave me flashbacks to Jose Ferreira going off last week and how that was probably the difference between Lo getting staying behind Loki or getting ahead of him and ended up behind him. We go into the pits. Uh, again, I knew Paddy was going to be close after that undercut. So uh, up to these half boys to get me a good pit stop and uh, get me out. But you can see kind of on the track, they're coming up to the left-hander. There's a large pack of trains. Uh, not, not a large pack of trains, but a large pack of uh, a cars. There's a train. And then the Hass boys get me out in front of Combi now. I think Combi had some issues with his stop. So I was like, yes, that's a that's a big one. I got ahead of Combi. So, but now coming across the street, you can see the line of cars coming ahead. There goes Wesker. There goes Party. I try and up the inside, but nothing doing. The other Toro Rosso is right on my tail. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm not having this. Uh, this is really important for me to get this. So Rich Revs, I'm on the racing line. The corner is mine to sweep into. Bit of contact, uh, but thankfully didn't get a warning. And then... Paddy and Wesker are going to come very close here. I have to get off the throttle quickly. Almost damaged my wing in the process. This was really nervy stuff. Yarham is again there. Bit more contact. I have the inside line for this corner. I'm sticking into Rich. And uh, middle of the track so he can't really think about a move. I actually went a bit wide into that corner but thankfully got away. And then relief as Combi and Yarham come together. And uh, that helped the immediate threat from behind. But that was a big, big lap. Uh, but ultimately, uh, look, I lost out to Party, but I got by Combi. So I'm still sat in the net P2. But net P1 is up ahead. So I have to get by Wesker quickly. Wesker did have wing damage. So I did not know this at the time, but he had wing damage. And so you're going to see his... His speed he carries, this triple right-hander, is really, really... Uh, it's just... Well, it's, it's really suffering because of that wing damage. The opportunity presented itself to me, and I went down the inside and got that critical move done on Wesker. Again, he had wing damage, so I probably would have got by regardless at some point. But really, really important for me to get by there. So I can set after Polly. The gap is two seconds. So let's see if I can make any inroads. Lap 12. Uh, you kind of see the gap to party is kind of the same. He's not driving away from you from me by any means in that empty space. Uh, but behind me is the threat and AFDC, who was about two or so seconds behind me when he came out. He was lapping like eight tenths a lap quicker than myself. He was the fastest man on track on those softs at the time. And you can see like I'm not losing any time to party, 
but I'm losing time to AFDC so it looked like AFDC had the race pace here to really win but he didn't have the track position and this is going to begin a big phase of this race where I have to defend from AFDC I knew at the time it was like ah, that's going to be tough I thought that's going to be tough defending from him for like 14 15 laps like so I knew it was tough but overtaking around USA can be difficult uh, the two DRS straights present a good opportunity to the end of those but I try to prioritize good exits out of those last corners so you'll see that in a bit more detail excuse me lap 17 see Pauly's getting their way a little bit up the front uh, the gap is I think stretched out over two seconds and my big problem in this race was this first sector with that lowered front wing this part this corner in particular I absolutely hated I was really really tentative uh, coming up through it it was difficult and that allowed uh, AFDC to kind of get on behind me and get a good run through there but the key is this corner getting a good launch out of that short shift to four stick up to rich I had the fuel to burn at the time and uh, there you go like instantly he's not getting anywhere past me so uh, but lap 18 he's gonna go a bit closer you can see he's basically glued to my gearbox and I'm thinking crap this is not good uh, he's gonna be right there with me for the DRS straight so I kind of plant it uh, middle of the track and then come back on as the threat isn't on but he gets a good run out of that corner and onto the DRS straight and I'm thinking crap this is the closest he's been I mean I'm gonna run rich revs he's running I'm sure rich and DRS and he's coming close I'm going middle of the track kind of let cut out the inside line so he goes on the outside instead we're on side by side near the end of sector two we give him the space into this right hander uh you're gonna see him pop in there but i'm gonna have the inside line for this left hander and uh i fight that one for the time being so uh all this is this is all this is allowing potty to kind of extend the lead at the front so look this i was it lap 20 uh, i get put off by bert's ghost and uh, I, it was just so silly, but oh, it really makes a huge difference when you got a ghost car, in the, at least to me, a ghost car in front of you. Uh, that was one of my two warnings in this race was that. I got a really lousy run out of uh, the, into that second last corner and then the final turn. And uh, AFDC was very, very close, but I'm going to keep it. I position my car well, and uh, it's going to be difficult for him to make a pass through here. So... And that was really silly, like, my second warning came from flipping Bert's ghost car, so, uh, yeah, very, very silly. Um, I don't know what that sound is at back behind me, but anyways, lap 21, uh, you got AFDC, he is all over the back of me. Sorry about that, uh, <laughs> quick brief interruption, but we're back now. Uh, AFDC is right behind me here. I don't get the best run into that corner and he is as close as he's ever been behind me. I'm thinking, well, this has to be it. Like, I, But I'll go defensive. I'll do what I can. And uh, with this, like, it's quite... Like, the thing is, you go if you go defensive around this line, right? Down the inside. He's on the outside. If you can defend this corner, so we leave the space, you now have the inside for a track that is notoriously difficult to pass at times. So... Uh, and again, we defend into that turn there. So I think it's turn 15. So uh, we survived again, but uh, the laps are getting up there. And I thought maybe there's a chance I could possibly do this, survive. But it's going to be difficult. I, I could fight. Like I was considering, like I, I could do this. I could fight because the gap behind us was quite large. And this time, there's going to be no saving me this time. Uh, Kev gets a really good run out of that last corner. I didn't think I got a bad run. But look at my fuel, like I've got really low fuel. I've been doing a tad bit of saving the last few laps. I hadn't the fuel to fight it. And uh, there you go. So Kev goes through into P2. Um, by no means did I let him through, but I wasn't going to fight it once I reached that point. And you can see I stick it straight into lean, uh, try and defend it. And that was it. That was the race. The big focus after that was, like I said at the beginning, was to not pick up a penalty. And I knew Jeff told me, my brilliant engineer, engineer Jeff, he told me that uh, Kev had a penalty. Kev is AFDC, by the way. Um, and I thought, okay, I thought, okay he's, got, he's got a penalty. I can, like, if he goes through now, I can focus on, instead of fighting and possibly pick up a penalty, I can keep going. Focus on, just drive really carefully. The gap behind me was not 
Uh, I was under threat, any threat from behind. See how it goes, and sure Ooh. enough, we do move into P2. Uh, thanks to pick up no penalties, Kev, out, Kev had six seconds worth of penalties in the end. And uh, that is my best result in TMC, a P2. A really good drive, I have to say. The pace was there. Uh, big thing, once I let Kev go, or once Kev got by, uh, once I stopped fighting it, was that to keep it clean, keep it, keep, uh, I had two warnings, so not get the third in the penalty, and uh, hope, in the, and just hope to try and stay within three seconds, and then once three seconds was gone, try to stay within six seconds, and uh, give, give yourself a chance. And the same for Poddy as well, because Poddy wasn't too far up ahead either. Uh, I was, was in six seconds of him, but Poddy, you know, fair play to him, he didn't get a penalty either. And uh, that has an Irish 1-2. I don't know the way flag above there says France. I'm actually got Roman Grosjean's model, but uh, for some reason. But there you go, that's an Irish 1-2. Uh, a big, 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 big day because Loki retired from the race from fourth. And then Idrox didn't finish. So we're three points off a promotion spot. Come on. It, the, it's not over yet. I could still do it. I'm not expecting to because those guys are quick. But... Uh, let's see what happens. Like I've got a really good opportunity to do it. So next up is Mexico. Not a track I always enjoy, but maybe I could fare a bit better this time than last season. So uh, until next time, signing off from P2. Later.